All right, we are going to differentiate the cube root. We are going to differentiate the cube root of t over t minus three. So of course we have to use the quotient rule. And again, I'm going to write down the top as little f, and the bottom right here little g. And we're going to write down the g function here first. So here we have t minus three, and then the little f. Well, here we have the cube root. Let's write it as the one third power. So t to the one third power. Okay, g prime, the derivative of t is 1, and the derivative of negative 3 is 0, so that's all we need. Now, for this, f prime, well, we first bring the power to the front and then minus 1. So we get 1 third, and then we have t. 1 third minus 1 is negative 2 third, so that's what we have. And now we can construct our answer. Yeah, and of course, this is the quotient rule. Let me write down this. Before we forget, let's square the bottom first. So here we have parentheses with t minus 3 inside, and then we square that. And for the numerator, we do this times that first. Yes, two terms, so write down our parentheses, t minus 3, and then we have that, which is 1 third t to the negative 2 third. Okay? And then we do this times that. And remember, for the quotient rule, we are going to subtract. So we subtract. Here we have t to the one third, and we are going to multiply this by one. Yeah, so that's what we have. And now you might be noticing that we actually have some complex fraction business. You can bring this down to the bottom, and it will look like this, right? One over three t to the positive two third. So, yeah, the way to clean this up is we multiply the top and bottom by this. And let me actually rewrite this so that it will be a little bit more clear. We have the 1 over 3 t to the 2 third power. So we are going to multiply the top and bottom by this denominator. And I will put this down right here for you guys. Multiply by 3 t to the 2 third power and also do the same thing on the bottom. All right, when we take this times this part, they cancel, so we just have t minus 3 left, and that's pretty nice. Now, here we have t to the 1 third times t to the 2 third. We add the exponent. 1 third plus 2 third is just 3 3, which is just 1, right? So we just have t, and then we just have minus 3 t. Yeah, so this times that is negative 3 t. Okay, and on the bottom, we'll just keep it as how it is, and perhaps I'll write down this part first. 3t to the 2 third power times t minus 3 to the second power. And of course, we see that this and that can be combined, so we will, so altogether we get negative 2t minus 3 over that, which is 3t to the 2 third power times t minus 3, and we have that. Queer. And ladies and gentlemen, this right here is it.